Randall was a skeptic until he had his palm read. Roosevelt's hand spoke to his physical endurance. Randall's comments about Roosevelt's strength is pretty interesting. From what Randall saw, Roosevelt's line of life is both deep and long and is bolstered by the sister line of vitality, indicating remarkable physical endurance. Arguably, Roosevelt did have a lot of physical endurance, managing polio and dealing with numerous health ailments throughout his life. He was sickly, yes, but he also demonstrated a great amount of physical strength when it came to rising above potential limitations. Franklin Roosevelt's hands showed kindness and generosity. Ronald also analyzed President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's palm. From what he saw, Roosevelt's free set, heavy thumb immediately strikes your eye when you study the president's handprint. This shows great generosity, independence, and will. His broad, open-minded approach to problems is also borne out by the line of life, which curves far out into his hand. According to many of his contemporaries, Roosevelt was kind and generous, especially when he looked at the plight of the disabled. He tried to hide his own disability paralyzed legs after a fight against polio but in 1938. Ronald could see how long Mussolini was going to live. The path of Mussolini's life was apparent on the lines of his hand. Ronald saw three phases which did actually correspond to Mussolini's career and rise to power. Phase 1 of his line of Apollo points out the self-made man. There is a sharp change of direction covering the years from the age of about 25 to 40. Then comes another new direction, almost a new line growing out of the old. This seems to apply to the period from the age of 40 to the late 50s. After that there is no more. Ronald said, that there was little on his hand to indicate that Mussolini would only live to his late fifties. He was off by only a few years Mussolini died at the age of 61 in 1945. Mussolini's palms indicate he was a violent lover. Mussolini, according to his palm, was a violent man in several areas of his life. His heart line indicated a violent temper, but the mount at the base of the thumb indicate an oversexed, violent person. These seem to be true characteristics of Mussolini. His relationship with Cloretta Petacci was full of violent encounters which included biting and ferocious intensity. He once bit off part of her ear and told her I lose control. I want to thrash you, harm you, be brutal with you. Benito Mussolini's hands said he was relentless and imposing. Benito Mussolini, the dictator of fascist Italy from 1922-1943, had hands which spoke of action, movement, boundless energy and restlessness. But even more than that, they tell of determination at the cost of humanity, of strength which is brutality. Mussolini's brutality could be seen in his treatment of dissenters whom he had his black shirts beat as he rose to power during the 1920s. As he exiled and persecuted anyone who did not meet the ends of his totalitarian state, his relentlessness of strength, albeit a dictatorial, Impressive strength did take its toll on humanity. The lines on Hitler's hands showed his heart and brain were weak and broken. The lines on Hitler's hands showed his heart and brain were weak and broken. According to Ranald, Hitler was destined to meet a violent end. Ranald noticed Hitler's life line ended in a cross which may have been the sign of a violent end. 
This can also suggest innumerable worries or anxieties, of which Hitler had plenty. In palmistry, any sort of cross suggests health or mental defects. Hitler's fate was out of his hands, according to his line of destiny. When Ranald looked at Hitler's line of destiny, which started with a cross, he saw it terminated with a star under the middle finger. This meant his fate was out of his hands, so to speak, and he was marked out for an awful, tragic role. The destiny line, you will note, stretches unbroken and bare from its tragic beginning to its violent end. Ranald cautioned the individual parts of the hand doesn't give the whole picture of what a man is capable of, and the hand as a whole needed to be taken into consideration. Ranald didn't want people who had one or two characteristics similar to Hitler assigning themselves the qualities which make Hitler what he is. Hitler was artistic and passionate, but with a catch. Hitler's thick fingers and fleshy hands showed Ranald that Hitler was an artistic type and full of passion. He was also selfish, however. Another one of Hitler's mounts also indicated he had boundless ambition. Hitler could have used this ambition in conjunction with his artistic nature, but as mounts go, he chose to apply them to his domineering, bullying disposition by demanding blind submission from everyone. Ranald described Hitler as prone to megalomania. Ranald described Hitler as prone to megalomania. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.